I said this many times before and I'll say it again just in case anybody didn't get the memo. I have very low tolerance for stupidity, especially people who wish to inflict their idiosity onto me, okay? I'll give it back to them and taro them cow cow. If you want to learn something, don't learn from a third year master student who's a MO medical officer uh, who's taught by a third class lecturer in a third tier university in the third world. You want to learn anything, find out who's the world's leading expert in the subject and learn from them. This is something KK Chan and I agree on. You know, we read research papers, we go and find out who's the world's experts in such and such, and we read from them and find out from them. And the best thing is, these people who are the world's leading researchers in their respective fields are very proud of their work. They go on podcasts, some of these podcasts are like the Andrew Huberman podcast or the Alex Friedman podcast. They'll talk for two or three hours, you know, about their work. So you can get all this information from free on YouTube. And many of them, when they publish a book, they want to publicize the book, so they get interviewed by these podcasters. You have to find a cred- uh, credible podcasters la, like uh, Dr. Rhonda Patrick, who, whose podcast is called Found My Fitness and all that. You must find out who are the top people and get information from them. I got no tolerance for all these TikTokers, personal trainer. You know, every personal trainer and their dog also got a TikTok channel, want to be influencer and all that. Influencers are people who are paid to talk something. They got an agenda because somebody paid them to say something. I don't want to sell some ubat, some supplement, whatever. Lah. Okay, so don't listen to these influencers. You must contact what we call key opinion leaders. Okay, these are the people who win gold medals, Nobel laureates, uh, the leading professors in their subject. You know, you learn from them. Lah. Like vitamin D, you go and find out from Michael Hollick. He is the world's leading expert on vitamin D. I've got all his books. They're all uploaded to the Telegram channel. You can download. Okay. You want to learn about diabetes? You learn from uh, Cyrus Kambata. He has a PhD in nutritional biochemistry. He's also a disciple of Thomas Colin Campbell. If you don't know who Thomas Campbell, Thomas Colin Campbell is, he's America's leading nutritional biochemist. Okay, all these people who talk about diabetes is, you know, like on TikTok, whatever, most of the time they're talking nonsense. Lah. Okay, so you go and watch that video I posted earlier by Cyrus Kambata and you'll understand diabetes exactly how it's meant to be understood. Okay, I first watched this video on October 17, 2018. The very next day I started on this whole food plant based diet. Okay, that's how influential it was. Um, so you you do yourself a disservice if you do not read his book or watch the video or follow his YouTube channel. He also got a website lah, and he runs courses also not cheap ah, about three hundred US a month. So I paid lah one time you know a few years back. I saved up for a year you know to 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 what do you call it to do his online course. But then I found out you know the same information you can find for free lah because. <clears throat> you watch his videos. I've got playlists of all his videos, like you know, so you can watch. Like I got, actually, I got thousands of playlists, and all of them curated by me. I find out who's the world it is by a particular subject, and I put there. Some subject I'm not interested in because I don't have disease. I don't have la like gl- glaucoma. I don't have glaucoma, so I don't do research on glaucoma. But as far as type two diabetes is concerned, insulin resistance, you know, I find out who's the leading world's leading expert. I compare them. And then, and then um, I make playlists. You need to decide for yourself what makes sense, because your brain is very funny, one. No, it'll only do what makes sense to you. So if it doesn't make sense, it will ignore the thing. So <clears throat> you read from a lot of, <coughs> excuse me, read from a lot of people and follow what makes sense uh, for you. If it doesn't make sense, you have what in psychology we call cognitive dissonance, so it won't work, one. You have to understand what's going on. Then the magic happens because when you understand what's going on, that in itself cures you. That's the under, un, underlying principle of cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT. Uh, that's another kettle of fish. Lah. But if you want to know about CBT, go and watch uh, or read uh, David D. Burns. He's um, the leading expert on self-help cognitive behavioral therapy. Cognitive behavioral therapy was developed by Aaron Beck, but Aaron Beck writes for clinicians, psychiatrists, psychologists, that his work is not very accessible. It's um, 
David D. Burns who makes it more accessible for the layman and most of his books are self-help do-it-yourself kind of books and he's also got YouTube channel and podcasts as well